we're just gonna flatten a little bit more of leapfrog so hopefully we should have a nice chill chatty time we can talk about ridiculous things as always i did see what? halloween squishmallows at a walmart yesterday but i didn't buy any of them unfortunately so i've just seen them you know which one i did buy at walmart yesterday you guys aren't gonna believe it here i have it right here you guys always ask me what my least favorite squishmallows are and I always say the squish dues. But this one, hear me out on this one. Hear me out on this one. She's different. She's different. You know, I think this one is justified. Maybe a little bit. I feel like her feet are so weird. Her toes. Hold on. This is a foot stream now. Her little toes are so much like higher than the big ones. It's so weird. I looked at all my other big feet, feet and... They're not like that. I mean, if it didn't have the headband, I genuinely wouldn't mind because these are like cute little pom-poms. And like, you can like almost like turn this down like that. And it doesn't look as bad. It looks like she's, it looks like she's working out. She's got like a little workout like headband on, right? But you can't do it all the way because it's sewn on the sides. But if I could turn it down like this, it wouldn't be that bad. I feel like up like this, it looks weird. Then it actually looks like squish do. Um, but I'm making her a hat. So hopefully that'll fix the problem. Anyway, nice tangent. Thanks for indulging me. Can you show your mouse pad? <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Oh my God, what is that? They're holding eggs, okay? It's appropriate. It's, it's squishy. It's my mouse pad. Okay, did, did anyone else have to do somersaults in PE in middle school? I was like, why is this a thing? Why are we doing somersaults? How how does this represent my athletic abilities? I mean, I was very bad at them. I guess it represented the fact that I was terrible at it. I never understood. I was too scared. I was literally scared of somersaults. I didn't want to go upside down. Uh, do you like haunted houses? I work at one. See, I am not the biggest jump scare person and I've only been in one haunted house ever. And I went with like my friend for her birthday and she had two friends that I had never met before, right? So all four of us go in there and it was literally like my friend that I knew and then like one of her friends that I didn't know and then me and then I think the other friend was behind me. And literally, I was so scared in the haunted house that I gripped onto the shirt of the friend of my friend in front of me. I had just met her and I was gripping her shirt the whole time and like just like this gripping her shirt and like not looking at anything just looking down at my shoes that's how scared i was to a stranger to a stranger so yeah i i'm not the biggest fan of haunted houses maybe it would be better now because i think when i went to that i was like in either just out of middle school or just fresh in high school so maybe i wouldn't be as scared now thanks rock economy is quaking right now i know guess we're gonna have to make another restaurant build Ooh, a fall slash halloween themed soup restaurant decided our next build on here i always get that soup pot and i'm like hmm, i'm gonna do something with it but i never do it who's like okay who's the most soupy villager if i was to go on a hunt for a villager to run the soup restaurant, who would it be? Who's the soupiest? Tia? I can see Tia. Maple? Or Junior? He looks like soup, honestly. B is, or Bia is very soupy. Ketchup is tomato soup. Mo? Mo could give soup. I can see Mo giving soup. Gaston? Bia has soup pots in her house? Ooh, that's a very strong argument. Because if she actually has soup in her house, like that, like, you know, I can't argue with that. Joey looks like he bathes in soup. Okay, but that's different. That's a whole different vibe. What kind of channel do you think the villagers would have? Tangy. Well, she's a girl boss, so I feel like she would have, like, top 10 side hustles, you know? Like, day in the life vlogs of, like, a working working gal i hustle every day tangy absolutely would have a gossip slash like drama reaction channel right where like she's always like in the hottest tea with like the island or like the other villagers or like youtubers or something like that stitches craft channel crafting channel absolutely but like he's kind of lazy about it so like he doesn't upload that much Puds just uploads like five second fortnite clips with like the like the most blasting obnoxious music bob definitely has a let's play channel absolutely oh someone needs to have a prank channel who has a prank channel scoot 
Scoot has like a ridiculous over the top prank channel and like some of them are not even funny like pretending to murder someone prank video <laughs> okay Henry has one of those like education channels but like it's funny Gail's like the beauty like guru like makeup community you know she gets into a little bit of drama sometimes and then catch up with the gossip channel she covers it, you know, she gets into it. Sometimes they get into a little bit of beef. Pichu would make some wacky Bill Nye science experiment channel, yeah. Except they're like really weird experiments. Like how many marshmallows can I fit in my mouth and then like pour chocolate sauce on top of them? <laughs> Tangy's 100% involved with MLMs. I see it though, I see it though. Tangy sells the candles where you could be your own boss. <laughs> Oh, Cousteau has like um really high quality and you're like, how do you even make like this is fake like food doesn't look like this. He just makes the most ridiculous recipes sound so easy and he's like, yeah, just do it. Like what's so hard about it? Just do it. Like he low-key insults you by like calling the most complicated dishes like easy, like beginner recipes. <laughs> oh, Stitch's toy review channel. Okay, you know what, Alice? Yeah, I take it back. Stitch's is the toy review channel but like for kids. Stitches does like, oh, unboxing 10 mystery surprise eggs, Anna Elsa Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, and then the last one we need is Jeremiah. What is Jeremiah? Like he's a sweet boy, I don't want to insult him. Jeremiah does lo-fi edits? Or he makes fan edits? <gasps> he makes K-pop fan edits, yes, Jeremiah. Okay, he makes fan edits. He makes edits of like K-pop groups. That's it, okay. That's what all the villagers would do on my island that's their channels honestly who's his bias i don't know i don't know enough people uh J jimin is that he's popular right like imagine just like little jeremiah with like his lack of fingers how does he even do that scoot is that duck with those glasses yeah this is why he has a prank channel he looks like a guy who would have a prank channel yeah don't look at me like that you know Oh, what YouTube channel does Sahara have? She's just always trying to like, oh, she has like a, um, like Sham Wow and like, uh, what's it called? The Chop, the Slap Chop. She has like videos where she does just like those infomercials, but like for her rugs. Who has a TikTok on this island? Out of all my villagers, who has a TikTok? Definitely catch up. All the peppies, ooh, all the peppies, they do the TikTok dances, absolutely. Ketchup definitely has one. Tanky definitely has one. Gail definitely has one, but she reuses her youtube videos as tiktoks oh yeah jeremiah definitely has one that's where he posts his k-pop fan edits on tiktok and they blow up and everyone's gonna be like wow like the talents literally all the comments are just like the talent crying emoji scoot he posts his pranks on tiktok but they're again they're like reused from youtube and sometimes sometimes he'll do like face talking ones he'll like hold the the phone up and be like oh my goodness what's up you guys like i'm here in walmart whatever we're gonna do some pranks and then it's just like really awkward it's him like running up to people and like shoving the camera in their face like this and it's like selfie mode and it's like okay tangy has one and it's one of those tiktokers who use it to promote their small business yes scoot does boardwalk interviews yes 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 but since bob has a let's play he just posts like valorant clips of like where everybody's being really toxic i get those on my page all the time i don't even play valorant yeah tangy definitely promotes her uh her orange her orange juice cafe oh my god like scoot tries to like do corn kid 2.0 like he starts interviewing kids when he never did that before and it's so obvious he's trying to like like get a, the next corn kid but it just like never works <laughs> chops for sure leaves comments you would see in 2016 yes yes <laughs> violet will like comment a like controversial opinion and then like the the person who posted the tiktok will like pin violet's comment and be like pin of shame <laughs> And then, like, everybody roasts Violet. How come we have never, ever thought of this? Why have we never thought to talk about, like, villagers and what TikToks they would post? This is so fun. I feel like everybody should do this. Can this be the next Animal Crossing trend? Like, Chop still says YOLO. Oh my god. Chop still says, like, a boss. <laughs> have you guys seen the, the cringy millennial parodies? Like, people who, like, make parodies of millennials. Who makes those videos? Or alternatively, who actually posts like that? Like, so today I did a thing. My doggo pup or good boy uh, just won the internet or whatever. I feel like Isabel would try to post like that. She's always trying to be trendy. Poor Isabel. Imagine, imagine Isabel saying, mm, I did a thing. <laughs> oh yeah, Timmy's small business. Timmy also has a small business TikTok, but he like, 
would never get any views and then he had one that like blew up and then he posts like one of those small business videos like showing like the label printer with like all the like a long line of labels printing and saying how he's like back ordered for three months <laughs> stitches is that one tiktoker who repairs plushies i love that one i love watching those yes leaf has a, a tiktok of him like growing or growing produce and like cooking with it he's one of those tiktokers that has like a garden and like he does those um those like harvest videos where he like harvest like has a big basket and like harvest stuff from his garden Red makes those videos that you can't tell if they're a joke or not, right? Red makes videos to help you grow your potential, tries to sell his books, but ends up being a scammer. Red sells those, like, YouTube courses. Like, oh, you want to learn how to be a good YouTuber? Take my course. It's only $100 per month. But this was a great time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and keeping me company. I will catch you guys later. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!